the dietitian here at Corktown Health Center and today I'm going to be showing you how to make sweet potato fries. So this recipe is really really easy. All you need is a cutting board, a knife, a bowl, and a cooking sheet. Then if you want you can have a peeler. I'll talk about that more while I'm making the recipe. And then an oven or a microwave oven. This recipe is also suitable for anyone following a low sodium diet a heart healthy diet or an anti-inflammatory diet. So although these are called french fries, we're actually baking these in the oven, which is a little bit healthier than frying them because it doesn't contain any of those trans fats that are found in fried foods. Those types of fats, trans fats, are not necessary in our diet, so the less that we have of it, the better. Sweet potatoes also contain different nutrients than regular potatoes, so it's a good way to get a variety of nutrients in your diet when you're switching regular potatoes for fries and having sweet potatoes instead. So you're going to start by washing your sweet potato and then peeling it. So as you can see, I didn't peel it perfectly. There are still some spots and that's totally okay. If you don't want to peel your potato, that's also fine. The skin is edible and it actually carries different nutrients than the inside of the potato. So it could be even beneficial to leave the skin on. So then you're going to want to cut the potato into desired fry shapes. So the way I like to do it is cut it lengthwise, then lie it on its flat side so it's easier to cut. Then I cut it lengthwise again, and then I just continue to cut it down into thin strips. So they look slightly like this. Then I cut, I lay it on its side and I cut it down into long strips. So then they should almost look like matchsticks. So you should have a couple different sizes like this. And obviously you want to get your fry sizes to be about the same size as each other so that they're, they cook uniformly. So I may cut it you know, on an angle about this size. Again, you can do whatever size you really desire. Just be aware that it might change the cooking times a little bit. And I'm never perfect in cutting mine exactly the same size and it might always turn out fine. So if they're not exactly even, that's totally okay also. So then you just finish cutting the rest of the pieces into those matchbox matches and then continue to make them smaller so that they're all about the same size. So once you have all of your fry pieces cut up, you're going to put them in the bowl. Then you will take your oil and you can use any oil. I use olive oil because it is a great source of anti-inflammatory fats, healthy fats. But you can use vegetable oil, canola oil, avocado oil, really any type of oil will work fine. Then you will take two tablespoons of the oil and just pour it into the bowl. Then you'll mix the oil around. Then you'll take your paprika and you want to use one teaspoon of paprika. You can use more or less if you don't like it or if you want more flavor. So you put a teaspoon in and then chipotle powder. Now this is what makes it really spicy. So you can kind of alter how much of the spice you want to put in there depending on your preference. If you like it, just a little bit spicy. Usually a quarter teaspoon will be good. Half a teaspoon is for if you want it you know, more spicy. A little goes a long way with the chipotle seasoning. So once they're in the bowl, you just mix that up. You want to coat the fries evenly with the seasonings and the oil. Then you will spread them out on your baking sheet. You want to make sure it's an even layer so that they all cook evenly. You will want to have your oven preset to 400 degrees. And once you are finished layering them on the oven sheet, you 
will put it in for 45 minutes and you'll want to stir about every 20 minutes. When the fries are finished baking, you can just take them out of the oven, let cool, and then eat as is. You can dip them in ketchup or mustard or whatever type of dressing or seasoning you prefer. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.